Hello, my name is Jennifer Carpenter and I am a nurse and oncology clinical coordinator at the St. Joseph Cancer Center. Today I would like to discuss the American Cancer Society's guidelines for early detection of cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends these screening guidelines for most adults. Breast cancer. Yearly mammograms are recommended starting at the age 40 and continuing as long as the woman is in good health. Clinical breast exams about every three years for women in their 20s and 30s and every year for women 40 and over. Women should know how their breasts normally look and feel and report any breast change promptly to their health care provider. Breast self-exam is an option for women starting in their 20s. The American Cancer Society recommends that some women, because of their family history, a genetic tendency, or certain other factors, be screened with MRI in addition to mammograms. Talk with your doctor about your history and whether you should have additional tests at an earlier age. Colorectal cancers and polyps. Beginning at age 50, both men and women should follow one of these testing schedules. Tests that find polyps in cancer. Flexible sigmoidoscopy every five years or colonoscopy every 10 years or a double contrast barium enema every five years or a CT colonography virtual colonoscopy every five years. Tests that primarily find cancer, yearly fecal occult blood test or yearly fecal immunochemical test. Stool DNA test interval is uncertain. These tests are designed to find both early cancer and polyps. Our preferred in these tests are available to you and you are willing to have one of these more invasive tests. Talk to your doctor about which test is best for you. The American Cancer Society recommends that some people be screened using a different schedule because of their personal history or family history. Talk with your doctor about your history and what colorectal cancer screening schedule is best for you. Cervical cancer. All women should begin cervical cancer screening about three years after they begin having intercourse, but no later than 21 years old. Screening should be done every year with the regular pap test or every two years using the newer liquid-based pap test. Beginning at age 30, women who have had three normal pap test results in a row may get screened every two to three years. Women older than 30 may also get screened every three years with either the conventional or liquid-based pap test, plus the human papilloma virus, HPV test. Women 70 years of age or older who have had three or more normal pap tests in a row and have had no abnormal pap test results in the last 10 years may choose to stop having pap tests. Women who have had a total hysterectomy, removal of the uterus and cervix, may also choose to stop having pap tests unless the surgery was done as a treatment for cervical cancer or precancer. Women who have had a hysterectomy without removal of the cervix should continue to have pap tests. Some women, because of their history, may need to have a different screening schedule for cervical cancer. Endometrial uterine cancer, the American Cancer Society recommends that at the time of menopause, all women should be informed about the risk and symptoms of endometrial cancer. Women should report any unexpected bleeding or spotting to their doctors. Some women, because of their history, may need to consider having yearly endometrial biopsy. Please talk with your doctor about your history. Prostate cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends that men make an informed decision with their doctor about whether to be tested for prostate cancer. Research has not yet proven that the potential benefits of testing outweigh the harms of testing and treatment. The American Cancer Society believes that men should not be tested without learning about what we know and what we don't know about the risk and possible benefits of testing and treatment. Starting at age 50, talk to your doctor about the pros and cons of testing so you can decide if testing is the right choice for you. If you are an African American or have a father or brother who have had prostate cancer before age 65, you should have this talk with your doctor starting at age 45. If you decide to be tested, you should have the PSA blood test with or without a rectal exam. How often you are tested will depend on your PSA level. Cancer-related checkup. For people age 20 or having periodic health exams, a cancer-related checkup should include health counseling and, depending on the person's age and gender, exams for cancer of the thyroid, oral cavity, skin, lymph nodes, testes, and ovaries, as well as 
for some non-malignant, non-cancerous diseases. Take control of your health and reduce your cancer risk. Stay away from tobacco, stay at a healthy weight, get moving with regular physical activity, eat healthy with plenty of fruits and vegetables, limit how much alcohol you drink, if you drink at all, protect your skin, know yourself and your family history and your risk. Have regular checkups and cancer screening tests. For additional cancer education and support, call St. Joseph Cancer Center at 859-313-4646 or visit stjosephcancercenter.com.